John Terry is not one of those players that people love to hate, he's just one of those players that people hate. Recently he's been called a choker, a glory hunter, a home and team wrecker and of course most notably a racist. But now Terry is looking for redemption and he's hoping to use an ultimate team series to reclaim his good name. It's hard to change people's opinion, especially on certain matters, but his plan is to become a key component of a team full of black players. Is this a good plan? Who knows, time will tell, but it's definitely a plan of some sort. So I hope you'll join me and John Terry on his road to redemption. I got my starter packs and I picked up Terry in the market for 9000 in a 4312 formation. After a bit of jigging around, the team looks like this anyway. There are a couple of black players already on the team, but they're up front, so they're miles away from Terry, so it's a good chance to ease him into the idea. The plan, of course, is to build a strong bronze team around him and then slowly add to it, make it a better team, and become world beaters. Hopefully, of course, if we win a tournament or win divisions, Terry will be on the pitch from the start instead of having to change into his gear and shin pads at the very, very end. So with all that out of the way, I decided to go online. My first time going online with Ultimate Team this year and also FIFA in general, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. After toing and froing between the tournament and the season idea, I eventually decided to go for the head-to-head -head seasons approach. Aston All-Stars would be my first opponent, a slightly better team than me, but worse chemistry. From the off, my defensive line came under pressure, but Terry was actually found wanting for the first attack. Thankfully, Taylor was on hand to step in and clear things up. In fact, Taylor put his hands up as one of the beasts of this team, once again stepping in to clear up an attack. Offensively, we looked less assured. I was still trying to find which players were the danger men, which players could create chances, and which players could actually finish them off in the end. Unfortunately, no one really stood out today. Plenty of heart, but no end product. So our defence was going to be the key component today instead, and Terry once again left the fans wondering why he was signed in the first place. Heroics from the goalkeeper though saved our blushes. Eventually, Terry worked out what he was supposed to do and managed to put in a man of the match performance as a result. Every attack that came his way, he shut down. This is Terry's house. So it looks like it didn't take him long to find his feet after all. The unfortunate result of a strong defence and a less potent offence is a nil all draw, but still, it's a point. It could be a valuable point by the end of the season, you never know, and it's from our first trip online, so it's something to take home. And as you can see there, Terry was handed a man of the match performance, so he's winning the fans over slowly but surely. So let's jump straight into game two against Heskin Fewa. Well, there's a hybrid you never want to meet down a dark alley. Looking at his team, I feared the worst. I was praying to the FIFA gods I needed momentum, I needed scripting, I needed handicap, I needed everything to follow my favour. But just in case that wasn't enough, I decided to go ultra defensive. I thought this would be the perfect run out for my defensive line, but my attack finally decided to get their asses in gear. A lofted through ball exchange from Noble Lazarus to Thomas and back again, put us in with a great chance and look at that finish! Naturally my opponent wasn't going to take this lying down though, and it took defensive heart, grit and determination to keep him out. All of a sudden my ragtag bunch of misfits were being asked to work together as one collective cohesive unit in order to keep that elusive clean sheet. Surprisingly they seemed up to the task at hand. Eventually though we got our chance. Miller was gearing up to unleash a long shot as I've learned from the tutorials, but was clipped at the last second. And then it was time to use the tactical free kick. Randall set off on a run, wasn't picked up, jinked in and out of the defence and unleashed a shot into the bottom left hand corner. Once again this spurred my opponent into action, but he just couldn't get past my goalkeeper. Wasn't the most confident save, but at least it was a save. As the match wore on, all I knew for sure was that my opponent was not going to win any medals for fair play. Lazarus managed to skip away from the dirty tackle, but was thrown off his stride and couldn't finish off the one-on-one -on -one situation. 2-0 isn't my favourite position to be in, so I kept pushing, but kinda cautiously, and then Woodall popped up for another goal. My opponent resorted to long shots because he couldn't get around Terry and Taylor's defence, but when that leaked a little bit, my goalkeeper was on hand to step up to the plate. With my opponent pushing forward so, so much, things started to open up an awful lot. Woodall plays the ball through to Nova Lazarus, tried the cheeky little chip, but the keeper managed to scramble back just in time. We kept pressing though, not going to give him an inch, not going to let up for a second. He manages to clear it off the line. I played the ball back instantly. My player skips around the defender and then is taken down. Woodall took responsibility for the penalty, chance to get a hat-trick, and he coolly slotted it. So a 4-0 win in the end, I was delighted with the performance all around the park. We were tight at the back and ruthless when we went forward as well. With a thousand coins in the bank as well, I decided to treat myself to a goalkeeper. So we hit the market and picked up Ali al Hadzi of Wigan. He's six foot four, so he should be a monster in goals. Pretty good stats on him as well. And we got him for 650 coins, which isn't too bad. So that is it for episode one of John Terry's Road to Redemption. A pretty successful start, I have to say. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for checking it out. And I hope you'll stick with me on the journey ahead.